Hi, this is going to be a two part video. I will um, merge the videos together. Um, what I did here is I made a simple DIY TV antenna for a digital TV. Now, unfortunately, my program here on my laptop is having a few issues. My total media is having a few problems right now. But I wanted to show you what you can make at home to get TV if you don't have an antenna. Now this picks up really well. I am in the, the city of Missoula. And I am of course going to keep the volume down as much as possible. Now there is one channel here that we have uh, or should I say a set of channels that we have trouble picking up and it's these right here which is KPAX channel 8.1 um, that antenna up there absolutely will not pick these up so now unfortunately the 13's do show they're picking up but uh, they will freeze the program when I hit the 13's there is a glitch right now I'm gonna have to figure out why it's freezing on the 13's so I will do my best to skip past the 13's and it may absolutely freeze now you see this has a constant signal on all these channels Now here's where it's going to start going is on the 13s as soon as I hit them. Nope, it's actually coming in. Amazing. Right there, I believe that's the channel that freezes. So let's try to skip that as fast as we can. As you can see, there's no glitches, no freezing on the channels. The channels look great. And yeah, the dude just standing there with a the progressive sign. Let me take a look. Switch to progressive. Let me turn that down so I don't get a copyright strike. Now, this is a real simple antenna to make. And let's see, I believe that may have froze, the program may have froze. Um, I've had a few issues recently with this program. It has nothing to do with the antenna. I am using the white TV stick. Um, I decided I would try the white stick and see if that helped clear everything up to see if it is my TV stick. It is not. It is the program. As you can see, it's not responding. So I'm going to have to fix that. Let's just end this. Now the radio on this program does work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this antenna up also to, yeah, and, and it don't send. I, I don't send anything Microsoft. Um, as you can tell, I don't have a lot on this version of XP. This is a different version of XP on my laptop. I actually have Linux Mint and two different versions of XP on here. So I figured I would check it on this version. And it is something wrong with the program or Windows itself. Maybe it got hit with something. I don't know. All right, let's turn this off. Uh, unplug this. Now this is a very simple antenna build. It's nothing more than a coax cable, a metal clothes hanger, and some electrical tape. And you can see it's not perfect. That's all it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up to the DVD player with a digital converter box. Um, 
and we're going to check it on there since my laptop is having some issues with that program. Um, I'm not sure what happened with there. Maybe something hit my laptop or I don't know. It's, it's Microsoft. Microsoft pretty much sucks. And once it gets an error, especially in XP, the only way to fix that probably is going to be reinstall XP. And I just don't want to do that. So, I'm going to get that down. And I'm going to run a channel scan using the digital converter box. Uh, I will splice the videos together. And I'll tell you how I made that. Unfortunately, I really don't want to undo all that electrical tape because this coax cable right here has glue unlike a lot of coax cables this thing has glue in it and that stuff just gets all over my hands but perhaps I'll cut that tape off or untwist it so you can see what I did and I'll explain how I made this after we test it on there alright this will be the first part right here on the two-part video and like I said I'll merge these videos together so it will make one big video actually maybe three videos with me showing that um, up there how I made that all right I will be back as soon as I get everything set up and I'll show you the digital converter box on the DVD player you've already seen but I don't have a TV here for that box so I will have to hook it up to the DVD player to get it to scan and you can see what it does all right, I will be back after I get everything hooked up. Bye. Okay, I moved the antenna a little bit. Um, it is picking up eight channels so far. That's probably about all it'll pick up because that's all that one picked up up there, and it is much higher. So what I did, I bent the antenna a little bit, moved a little bit, and I used a signal meter to get the best signal in here. Unfortunately, I really can't get high enough to get a better signal if I hold it up closer to the ceiling it gets a much better signal but right there is a good enough place to show you what it's doing this is the homemade antenna this is not one of those now I did purchase two antennas um, one with a rabbit ears I believe uh, oh, a Phillips antenna and I purchased another one like that but they're gonna take a while to get here so I decided you know what I'm just gonna build one it's a uh, really simple to make one of these and here comes midnight of course now we have eight channels here now this already had eight channels on it from that up there and that's much much higher now if you remember I talked about this box not picking up on some of the other antennas so this is actually a pretty good thing here I'm sorry about this man I decided he wanted to get up yes he did give him no yeast no yeesh. see he looks like a little Godzilla uh. all right I apologize the camera's real close to my uh, mouth here I am going to turn this up so you can hear it but I have to do this really quick so I don't get a copyright notice you know what Looks like that started fading out a minute. Let's go back to that one. It has a good signal, so. Okay. At this point, our urgent action right now is to finalize these questions. Okay, let's turn this off. Turn this down. Uh, 
midnight. He is so in the way. All right, let's turn this off and. Okay, let's show the antenna. A class cable. A metal clothes hanger. And some electrical tape. Now I do, I did put this uh, twist tie on here to hold this antenna in place. It is not necessary. I just stuck it there to hold the antenna in place. All this antenna is is a metal clothes hanger, some coax cable, and electrical tape. Alright, I'm going to actually end up making this a three-parter because I'm going to have to tear all that down. And then I'll show you once I get it tore down. I have to get all this out of the way. Like I said, I chose a really bad coax cable to do this with because this cable here has glue on the inside and it's going to be a royal pain in the butt for me to do this without getting glue all over my hands now this you can adjust however you want I did more put it more in a triangle um, kinda sorta and you can adjust it however you want and I will talk about it when I come back I have to get everything put up before midnight smash or something here but like I said this is a homemade antenna and it works just as good as that one up there alright I will come back um, once I get everything put up I will disconnect everything here and unwrap that alright I will be back shortly bye okay here's the antenna unwrapped what I did was I cut the insulation off the outside insulation I left the outside metal uh, wire and I just pushed it down all the way down as far as I could then I slid the clothes hanger in there literally just slid it in there uh, this is going to be hard to do. You can see how it slid in there. Now, I did strip the clothes hanger from any insulation down there on the bottom. You can see that. And I just pushed it up in there as far down as I could. And then I wrapped the whole thing with electrical tape. Now, here I took the silver off and I stripped the wire now you can make this as long as you want the longer the better I made sure none of the silver though was touching right here the silver and then I just stripped the wire and I wrapped it all up in electrical tape and that's all I did for this antenna And it, it, you saw how well it works. And this is nothing but a piece of coax. And a metal wire hanger. Uh, clothes hanger, sorry. Right there you can see, hopefully, the white and the silver where I left the silver on look at that I'm busy and he's wanting to be rubbed on now this is probably about eight inches of wire the more wire exposed I believe the better it be but like I said this had glue on this coax cable and it was just really sticky so I didn't want to take it too far back because it is really sticky so if you have a regular coax in fact you can see some sticky on my fingers from that um, it, a regular coax cable will work you should really <laughs> 
as you can see, ow, 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 claws. As you can see, the antenna was simple to make. Ow, okay, let go, let go. And it worked really well. It worked just as well as that one up there. So that's how I made my homemade antenna. It was real simple to make. It only took, I don't know, 10 minutes or so to make this entire thing. And you saw how well the signal was doing on that through the digital converter box. Now remember this is just more or less a hobby antenna. I just made it because I felt like making it. I do have a couple antennas on order. And I'm going to, when they come in, I will compare this one, this homemade one, with those two antennas that I ordered. I ordered one of those, uh, something like that, and um, Philips uh, rabbit ear kind of thing. So I want to see how well this compares to those. And if this works just as well, if not better, then it'd be better just making something like this where it's not going to cost you a fortune on like antennas and really really cheap antennas they generally don't work that well but I mean given the fact that I already had the coax cable laying around and one of the ends was bad on the coax cable and I already had the clothes hanger and the electrical tape anyway that's it that's how I made the antenna like I said uh, let me show you what this screw up here Right there is where I slid it down right along the side of the center white piece with the um, aluminum on it, foil, whatever. I don't know if you can see the little hole where it went down. And then I just taped it and I pushed it down. This is going to be hard to do with one hand and I'm not going to be able to do it with one hand. But basically I did that. I pushed it inside there. And that's sticky. But that's how I made my homemade antenna. It worked great. I mean, for, you know, a piece of coax and a clothes hanger and some electrical tape, it worked great. Just make sure when you slide that in, yeah, that is sticky. Just like that. See that? I just slid that in. I pushed it down as far as I could go. And then I taped it all the way around, all the way up. Just to make sure this didn't touch anything. And then I bent my wire however I needed it. And it looks about like that. Alright, that's it. I'm facing go. I have to, apparently I'm going to have three videos to splice together. And there's my night. But that's my simple DIY homemade antenna. If you want to try that out. Unfortunately, uh, there is something wrong with either my uh, total media or windows. So it did try to freeze. And I'll have to fix that. But other than that, uh, everything seemed to go well. Picked up the channels beautiful, had a great picture, good sound. And if you don't have the money for an antenna, you know, give something like this a try. Alright, that's it. Everyone have a good day. Bye.